How you guys doing? Hey, so I wanted to get a quick video out. I hope I hope this is a quick video. If not, um, just just take your time, try to or re watch the whole thing. But anyway, I wanted to um, talk to you guys about something. So first and foremost, it's about I guess it's about young people, but it's also about you know, the problems we're going through. I want everyone to know one thing here. I think out of everybody in the church, okay, I am probably one of those people who has sinned against God the most. I'm just going to say it straight there and then. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I fall short like crazy. Okay. Now, I noticed that the enemy is mainly on me. He knows that I hate, that I hate sin and that I stri I'm striving in everything I can to pursue righteousness by the blood of Jesus Christ and through his mercy. Okay. So he knows that when I'm awake, it is very hard for me to be, I would say, to fall into temptation, um, to fall into sin. You know what I mean? Temptation is one thing, but sinning because of temptation, that's another thing. See, that's why he always comes to me when I'm sleeping. Every time, it's always when I'm, I'm telling you, it's always when I'm sleeping. But I know that there's other people going through temptation while they're awake. Okay. I was just talking to a friend the same age as me, okay? And I noticed something that, you know, our peers, you know, um, my my peers, you know, we're really going, like, I know, like, you know, we're, we're young, we're really going through, we're really, and people, I'm talking about the peers who are looking for the Lord, okay? We are really going through struggles right now. And I'm not saying that we are going through less or more struggles than people older than us or younger than us. But I'm telling you that Satan is really trying to go after the young ones. And I'm talking about those who are, I'm talking about teenagers and young adults, like from like, like 30 and under, like that, that age range, like those who aren't married, if you know what I mean, those who, um, who the world says you have so much opportunity, you're young, you can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, there is a lot of. Of pressure on the young ones and me being I'm not even 21 yet okay but I had to get this video out because I, somebody has to say something you know somebody has to say something and what I mean is you know I'm not asking I'm not telling you guys to tell me your problems that's I'm, I'm not telling you but I'm but but what I want to do is tell you mine so that you can understand that I'm going through the exact same thing that you're going through. And some of you guys are succeeding. <laughs> some of and, and then there's people like me who fail a lot. OK. I guess you, I, I'm, I believe now you guys are understanding the moral of my point. So. Last night, okay, and I'm telling you, it's always when I'm unconscious because it's like I'm not aware of it or I'm trying to be aware of it. And for some reason, I'm not thinking in, when I'm sleeping. It's, it's the craziest thing. Okay, but I fell short again. Okay, and like I said, it's always when I'm sleeping. And I'm saying this is because I know that I'm not the only one falling short. I'm not the only one that has committed a sin you know, I'm not the only one doing this, but I'm going to be one of those people who's going to tell you guys, you know. So, but I'll tell you, but I'm going to tell you right now, first and foremost, I'm doing amazing right now. Okay, I'm doing great right now. Okay, but I wanted to let you guys know what happened and let you guys know that there is, there is hope. There is, there is hope. Do not be deceived. There is still hope for you.
there is still hope for you. I'm telling you this as a brother in Christ. Okay, if 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 I can get through this, if God can get me through this, he can most definitely get you into this. It's called striving and it's called desiring him and looking for him. Last night, I ripped my shirt. You know how those the the the, the um the the people when they rip their shirts, throw dust on their face. I was in that state last night because I was so angry. I was so mad because I, 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 it's like my, like a willpower kicked in and I clenched my fist and I said, I will get through this. I will overcome the devil himself. I will get through this. I have been tempted before by him. I have been beaten by him. I have literally stood before the evil one before I will get through this because now he's trying to use my weaknesses. Okay, I have weaknesses, guys, and I know you do too, but he knows, the, the enemy knows mine. He knows my weakness, and I'm telling you right now, I will overcome that. I will overcome this, okay, and you will too, but you, but you got to believe it. You really have to believe it. You have to, like, fight like it's not. You have to fight because you have to understand something, guys. I am not going to live to see 31. I will not live to see 31. Why? Because he, Jesus Christ is literally almost here. He is literally almost here. It is ridiculously crazy. I would never lie to you. Take this to the Lord. But that's why he, the devil is working over, over, over time. So that means that I and other people going through this has to work over, over, over time. Okay. Now. So after I ripped my shirt, knowing that I sinned in my dream, um, basically, I, I said, I said, Lord, I'm going to look for you and I will find you. I will find you, Lord. I will find you and I will find you. I kept saying I will find him. So I ended up back in the spiritual realm. Right. And I was looking for my father. I don't even know how I got in the spiritual realm, but I don't know, man. It's like that. He he heard my prayer. And it's almost like, okay, come look for me. It's like that. So as I'm looking for him, I had to say to myself, okay, is what I'm going through real right now? Am I actually in the spiritual realm? And it looks like regular, like the regular world, you know, I mean, it's spiritual things going on, but it looks like, you know, it looks regular sometimes. So I noticed something. As I was looking for my dad, I was in this road and I saw these high, I saw these cars like kind of on not a highway, but like just like a big street going past. And I said, I got to figure out if I'm in if I'm in if I'm in the spiritual world or not. Now, before this happened, a bunch of men was running away from the, her father and I was one of them running away. I didn't even realize it until my conscience kicked in and I started getting aware of what I was doing. I said, wait a minute, why am, why am I here? I'm supposed to be looking for my dad. And that's when I started looking for him, right? So as I'm looking for him, I look at the cars because I wanted to know if what I was going through was real or not. I looked at, this is what hit me. I looked at the license plates and I didn't see any on any car. There was no license plates on any car. I said, I'm in the spiritual realm. I know that um, I know that I'm looking for God now. And now I know that it's real. Now, oh my goodness, my faith kicked in like crazy. And as I'm running, because I it's like my faith kicked in so much that I started running and I said, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him. Next thing you know, I start to slow down and I ended up like collapsing and I'm like pushing myself because I didn't see God yet. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him. Oh, get up, Dave. Get up. You know what I mean? I'm like in that stage. The next thing you know, this is the craziest part. As I was looking for my dad, my dad was looking for me. He comes out of wherever he was and he's walking towards me and he's smiling. He's like, he's so happy. And oh my goodness, as I'm collapsing, I'm on my, I, I, I ended up collapsing on my feet and he stands before me almost like, but he sits in like, 
almost like it looked like he was sitting in Indian style, but it looked but like when I looked at it really deeply, it looked like I was standing before him and he was sitting on his throne. You know what I mean? And I was just, oh my goodness, guys, I was in so much repentance because I knew, but I believe God knew too. I'm really, really trying here. I am really trying here. That's 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 the purpose. You you have to try. You have to try. Okay, you have to try. Even if you're a 20 year old or a young kid in these days, because these days are crazy. You have to try. I'm gonna make a part two video telling you what happened after. Okay. But I'm going to keep this short because I want to just let you guys know. You guys have to understand something, okay? Me personally, I want to help talk about the things that we're going through. Because I want to let you guys know, too, you're, you're, you're listening to a person who, who wants to seek God, who knows that, you know, we have to strive for him, yet still falls short of his glory. And even though you try not to sin, you know, you commit a sin, okay? But I want to let you guys know something. Whether you've tried and you committed a sin or tried not and committed a sin, there is hope. You have, it come, and I'm telling you guys this, it's with the mind, okay? It comes down to the mind, okay? You need to ask the Lord to, to fix your mind and your heart. You need a new one. You need a new one because what's happening is all that data that's been in your, 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 your subconscious is still in there and God wants to take that out. Okay. It's not really the conscious because you can kind of say to your conscious, shut up, shut up, stop this, stop this. You know what I mean? And you can even say, uh, I rebuke all you spirits that are coming after me, but your subconscious and your willpower to choose God or the enemy, okay? You have to let God do that. You have to let God take full control over you. Tell him, tell him, Lord, I choose you. Help me choose you. Lord, I choose you. Help me so that I am not a slave of the enemy. You have to fight, okay? You have to fight. You have to. You have to fight. Okay. Now, um, let's just go to Matthew real quick. Give me a second. I thought this was amazing. And the scriptures here. Okay. Matthew 26, verse 40 to 41. It was funny. A sister in Christ told me, hey, um, I recommend reading 20... 20, what was it? 20, yeah, 24, 25, 26. I read through the whole thing and I was like, oh yeah, this scripture right here. Now let's look at, look at this. Just look at this. Okay. Now I think this is personally for me, but I want to share with you guys that there's hope for you too. Okay. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them. What's that word right there? Asleep. And saith unto Peter, what? Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Don't just watch and not pray. Don't just pray and not watch. Watch and pray. That you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Your flesh is weak. I don't care what anyone says. Your flesh is weak. Okay? Your flesh is weak. Your flesh is the one that takes in all these senses and go, I want to do this, and I want to go do this. And your spirit is like, no, 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 no. And your soul gathers whatever information that goes through your flesh. Whatever goes through your body, your soul takes that. So if you're watching pornography, and if you're looking at all these things, your, your take The flesh takes that in, takes it to the soul, and the soul takes that to the spirit, the you, okay? The spirit is you. And the spirit will either um, accept or reject because the soul basically will say, well, it does feel kind of good. Like, you know what I mean? Watch, if you guys watch Miles Monroe, um, talks about lust, okay? He explains how the body, 
and how it works when we when we perceive things. Now, you can stop looking at these things, but now it comes down to your soul, which is your your mind, will, and your emotions. So now you have to say to yourself, you know, in your soul, what is it that I need to clean out? What is it that I need to ask the Lord to clean out so that I do not sin in my mind or my heart? Because there's one thing I noticed that Jesus looks at. It's not the outside, okay? It's not the outside, but he looks at the heart. He looks at what's in you. That's how do you think he knew that Peter would deny him three times? How do you think he knew Judas would betray him? Because he already knew what was in their heart. Subconsciously, I, I, I believe it was subconsciously because even they were saying consciously, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. So think about this. If I'm sleeping, what's going on with me subconsciously? You know what I mean? I'm humbling myself to let you guys to, to help you guys learn something here. Subconsciously, there's something I don't know that's in me that needs to come out. What I noticed is, you know, God is so good too. You know, I you have I just be honest with yourself. Okay? Be honest with yourself. Tell him that you have a problem and be honest. He loves honesty. He loves honesty because he he already knows that there's something subconsciously in there and that you're trying, but you have to be honest with yourself. You have to say, hey, look, I've been going through this, Lord. I've been going through this, but please help me get rid of it. I don't know how. I need you to get rid of it, Lord. I need you to remove it. I need to be pure and holy before you. I need you in my life, Lord Jesus. You need to know this, guys. You need to know this. There may be something subconsciously in your heart or unconsciously that you are not aware of, but God Almighty sees it. And he's looking at that, trying to grab that out. But you must ask. You must seek ye first the kingdom of God. You must look for the Lord's face. Why do you think these people, why do you think our brothers and sisters in Christ say, seek the Lord directly? Because he knows directly what's wrong with you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Amen. We don't know what we can't look in your hearts. I can't look in your hearts. You know why? Because I can't even look in my own heart sometimes. But I can be honest and say that there's something going on, that there's something wrong with me. And I can see that when I'm waking up, you know, I see now. But there's some things that you might see that you know is a problem, but you're not telling God about it. Tell him the truth. Tell him the truth, because what will the truth do? Set you free. And who is the truth? The way and the life. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know this. You know this. Be honest with yourself. I need to be honest with myself. This, this message isn't just for you. It's for me. And I'm seeing the enemy going after my peers, and I honestly can't stand it. I told God, I said, Lord, if it was, I, I, told, I said, Lord, I said, I, if, if you gave me the opportunity, I'd kill the devil myself. If you gave me the power, I would kill him myself because I, I cannot stand this guy. This guy is a wicked, evil, evil, evil serpent. Okay. And I'm, I know that I'm aware of that. And I just want you to be aware of that too. But there's also something going on in your heart that I can't see, but the Lord can. I want to let you guys know that I really love you guys, man. I want to see you guys in heaven. I, I, I want to be in heaven with you. I remember saying one time, I said, Lord, if it, if, if it be your will, if you have to leave me here and take my family, please do it. Because I know how evil this place, what's going to happen. I know the evil that, that's coming, Lord. And I really, really hope that all of you get taken up. You know, some of us may have to lay our lives down, lives down. It's better than being tormented and, and, and death fleeing from you to not take the mark of the beast. You're better off with somebody saying, do you believe in Christ? If yes, then they're going to pull a bullet in your head. You're better off taking that quick bullet to the head or whatever. I'm just being, I'm keeping it real, guys. I'm just keeping it real. 
because there's going to be a time where we're going to have to stand, literally stand for Christ, just like the apostles, just like the prophets, just like the people in the Old Testament, okay? I, but I hope, I, I, I would want nothing more than you guys to get raptured, but we're all going through the test. But the thing is, we need God for it. We need God to help us get through it. We can't do it on our own. I love you guys so much. Please be safe out there. Shalom.